if the ship hit the seabed, then she would have been off her prescribed route. Because as you said, she does that route several times a week and that would always be in water deep enough for the ship. Uh, so it seems she was off the, the, the channel, shall we say. No, the, the, the idea that she did a sudden turn and that in turn caused the cargo to shift and she then went over is possible. Now, had the ship been properly stable when she staled and the cargo had been properly secured, then that shouldn't happen because ships do have to make emergency turns when they're at sea to avoid collisions with fishing boats and other commercial craft. So if that is what happened and the investigation will, uh, will reveal that, then something was d deeply wrong when she sailed in terms of stowage and or stability. The rescue effort uh, will be continuing as we have seen with divers trying to get inside. But at the same time, the investigation will be ongoing. They'll be looking at all the, 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 the documents uh, that are lying in the port of Inchon when she sailed, and they will have probably tried to inspect the outside of the hull for any obvious signs of damage. We're told there could be air pockets, but Wednesday was the last real time that anyone was brought out alive. Even if there wasn't an air pocket, how long would the oxygen last? Well, the oxygen probably would not last very long. The real issue is when you have people uh, in the water, as they would have been, even with air pockets, the, the temperature was only 12 degrees, and the survivability for any length of time in those temperatures is severely limited.